Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Ankit and I'm working as a system engineer at Oracle. So recently I gave an interview at Amazon for the role of cloud support engineer. And uh, this went around two months, more than two months to be precise. But uh, that was only because there was a freeze going on in the process. In between, uh, there was a freeze and uh, they had stopped the hiring for some part of time. So all this I'm going to be talking about in this video, my whole experience, how it started, uh, what all rounds were there and uh, if I got selected or not in the end. So let's get right into it. So it all started when a recruiter reached out to me on LinkedIn and uh, she uh, gave a brief uh, job description of the role and asked me if I was interested in joining AWS and AWS being such a huge name in the tech industry, of course, I said yes. And uh, then later on, she sent me a link to apply to the apply uh, for the role on the AWS portal. And after applying, I got an online assessment uh, link to be done within the next three, four days. But I uh, completed it within that day. And uh, I think up, that was the next day when she reached out to me again, saying that I have cleared the interview, saying that I had cleared the online assessment and my loop interviews are going to be starting uh, pretty soon like within a week or something and uh, asked me to prepare on some topics and she sent me a mail with the she sent me a mail with some important topics to prepare on from networking linux recruiters actually want you to clear the interviews and they help you as much as they can by sending all these topics to prepare on and what interview around is going to be next what questions are they going to be asking after i cleared my online assessment the my first technical round was on networking concepts and uh, that was taken by uh, a senior cloud support engineer working at amazon networking uh, technical round i was asked questions on uh, dns dhcp and uh, tcp ip all these uh, networking related concept questions uh, were asked so you can prepare on that and uh, later on i got a call from the recruiter again uh, within that day that i had cleared this round and uh, they will be scheduling my uh, second technical round soon but uh, they did not schedule it and uh, uh, again i got a call saying that the process of hiring is on freeze for now and they will be resuming it uh, whenever the freeze is lifted so i did not know when this is gonna be but i was still like uh, hoping that it would the freeze would end soon and uh, that the process begin begins again almost two months were gonna get uh, over since i had given my first uh, online assessment so uh, one day uh, i saw uh, on linkedin jobs itself that the cloud support engineer the role which i had applied for they had reposted it again on linkedin so if your job is reposted, it shows as reposted there. So I took a screenshot of that and sent it to my recruiter and asked if the job uh, they are hiring again or not. So she told, let me check. And then uh, next day she called me. She was like, they have started the interview process again. And uh, we will schedule your second round very soon. So start preparing for it. And second round was going to be on uh, Linux. So uh, they scheduled it the next week after I got the call. So I had like five days to prepare for it. <laughs> And uh, the second round was on Linux and uh, the interviewer was a little more senior guy around five to six years of experience. He was working as a senior cloud engineer and he asked me scenario based troubleshooting questions related to Linux and some questions uh, regarding storage as well. You can watch my other videos which are there where I specifically talk about these questions, what, which questions were asked to me in these interviews. So I can put the links for those videos in the description down below and you can go watch them if you are really interested in knowing what questions were asked to me. And uh, yeah, so after giving this round, I was pretty confident uh, that I was going to clear it. And uh, within an hour, I got a call from my recruiter saying that I had cleared this uh, second in technical interview as well. And uh, next process was that I'll have two managerial rounds, which have usually happen back to back. Like you'll have one hour of uh, one managerial round and then you get 30 minutes break and then another uh, managerial round happens. So that was 
what was told to me and uh, that is usually what happens but then later uh, the next day when I got the mail the interviews were on different days so they said that the uh, second uh, manager who was going to be taking my second managerial round was not free on that day so they shifted it uh, a day a next next to next day uh, so I had around like uh, I got this mail on Friday and my uh, my first managerial round was on Tuesday and second was on Thursday so I started preparing for it I was told by my recruiter to study on leadership principles study uh, how to answer uh, these questions in star format that was all told to me and I started preparing for these uh, managerial uh, behavioral questions which they ask so these questions are mostly based on the leadership principle which Amazon has and for each leadership principle they have like a set of questions which they ask to uh, test if you have these leadership principles if you have these qualities in you or not the first managerial round I mean these managerial rounds were pretty tough and uh, you can't like really come up with the, your own stories on the spot so be sure to prepare on it beforehand and I had prepared some of these stories from my past experience and uh, yeah there were some questions where I could not come up with a story so I told him uh, for one question I told him that I don't know uh, I can't think of any such situation as of now uh, let me think and if I get a situation I'll come back to it or we can uh, move on to next questions so that was one question which I skipped and I answered three of his uh, question, four of his uh, questions so totally he asked me five questions I skipped one and four I answered so I thought that went pretty well day after this day uh, I had my second managerial round and for this round uh, there was so the first uh, first managerial round the guy who takes it is uh, going to be your manager to so the team you will be joining that uh, team's manager will be this guy okay and so that guy takes your first manager around and second manager around uh, can be taken by any manager so this guy was there and uh, he had around eight years of experience the guy who took my second managerial round and uh, in that also I think I had one such question where I could not come up with the apt situation uh, from my past experience and uh, uh, even though I could not come up with that uh, particular I just modified it a little and I answered some story so <laughs> that was there and uh, yeah I, I thought both of the rounds went pretty fine I mean according to me and uh, I asked to my recruiter and she told me that uh, they will club the results for all the rounds and they will let you know within a week so I waited and uh, uh, so this ended on Thursday right so next week's uh, Wednesday I think I got a mail so unfortunately it was a rejection mail and uh, obviously it was disappointing after coming so far like I cleared my online assessment then my first technical round second technical round the managerial round I gave both of them like that is all the I mean I cleared all the rounds which were there I mean not cleared but I yeah till second uh, technical round I cleared it till there it is elimination if you don't clear it you will get eliminated from the process and after you clear your second technical round these two manager rounds uh, are bound to happen both of both the rounds will happen no matter how you perform in the first one so yeah uh, the I got the rejection mail and it was I was pretty disappointed I obviously I felt bad and uh, but it was also a valuable learning experience for me I got to learn so much about the process about AWS about their leadership principles and also uh, while preparing for this interview I just uh, refreshed all these networking concepts Linux concepts which actually help they actually help me in my job and uh, that is what I feel uh, was a great outcome while preparing for this interview so even though I didn't get the job I learned a lot throughout this process each round helped me uh, understand my strengths and the areas where I can improve and uh, maybe next time I'll make it all the way through for those of you who are preparing for similar roles like cloud support associate or cloud support engineer at AWS or any other company uh, these are the tips I would uh, like to give to you to 
which will help you prepare for this role better so here are the tips first is prepare thoroughly make sure you have a strong grasp of the core subjects like networking and linux and second is practice problem solving or troubleshooting this is crucial for online assessments and also for the technical interviews how you how is your approach to troubleshoot a complex problem so make sure you practice problem solving and third is showcase your past experience so in managerial rounds, you will have to talk about your past experience uh, where you solved a complex problem or you faced a difficult situation, uh, worked under a tight deadline, uh, had a conflict with a co-worker or had a conflict with your manager or you faced a critical feedback from your manager. So all these questions are asked in the managerial rounds and uh, make sure uh, you showcase the good parts of your experience uh, where you look like a, a hero in those stories and you where you showcase these leadership principles which the Amazon has in these stories. Fourth is stay positive. Rejections are part of the process and no matter what the outcome, there is always something to learn from the experience. So learn from it and keep moving forward. So thank you so much for watching this video. So if you found this video helpful, or have, you, have any questions related to the interview process, please feel free to drop them down in the comments below. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel if you are new. When I started this channel, with my first video is also about AWS and I had zero subscribers then. And within a month I have completed, I have reached uh, around 400 subscribers now. So. Thank you for that and it feels really great. So I try to answer all the com comments and uh, queries which I get. Even people are connecting to me on LinkedIn asking doubts uh, regarding the interview process and I try to answer and uh, reply back to each and every one of them. So it feels like uh, building a community here and uh, uh, I feel great being a part of it. So don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel. Also hit the notification bell icon. I'll see you in next video. Until then, keep learning and keep growing. Thank you.